Sammy has the book. There we go. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, everyone. Nice to be here again. Thank you, Sammy. Thank you very much. And this is the book, I will read it. Oliver, the Ornament Meets Bell. Do you know the book? Did you read it before? No. Christmas season started with mom and dad telling Henry and Holly about the ornaments on their tree. And that was just the beginning of the holiday fun for the entire Nelson household. I love the stories, Krista reclaimed. Me too, Edsel said. But there is a lot of more to the story of how Belle entered their collection. Please tell us, Henry asked. Oliver reminded them that at first he was the only ornament on the tree. That didn't last long because the next day your mom came home with a box of beautiful ornaments, Oliver said. Suddenly I was surrounded by so many magical friends or so I thought. What do you mean? Holly asked. Well, I went up to the ornaments and introduced myself, Oliver explained, but sadly, none of them answered. That didn't last long, continued Oliver, because I began playing the most wonderful game of make-believe. I went back to each of the ornaments and introduced myself again. I said, hello, Mr. Red Ornament, my name is Oliver. Mr. Red Ornament replied, hello, Oliver, my name is Edsel. I said, hello, Miss Blue Ornament. She responded, nice to meet you, I'm Crystal. Then I got to Mrs. Green Ornament, but before I could say hello, she said, hi, Oliver, I'm Mary. The children were amazed. Oliver's imagination brought all the ornaments to life. What happened next, they asked. We started by singing our favorite Christmas carols, Oliver said. Just then, the ornaments heard a very scary laugh coming from the attic. Not wanting the children to hear the noise, the ornaments began singing Christmas carols, drowning out the scary laughter. Then the doorbell rang. It was Henry and Holly's friends, Stephen and Rudy. So mom and dad bundled the children up to go outside to build a snowman. Back in the living room, the ornaments were scared. Where did that laugh come from? Belle asked. It's from a really mean ornament, Oliver said. Her name is Nellie. Who is Nellie? Abby asked. She's mean and she's done some really naughty stuff, Oliver said. She glued my ladder down so it stuck, Edsel said. She bullied me and called me useless, Bucked added. Joan and Marley said, I've got to talk to Nelly. It's Christmas after all. That sounds like a bad idea, Norb and Teddy shouted. But Marley and Joan were determined, so they flew off to meet her. On the way, Marley and Joan could see it was a cold and snowy and starting to get dark. They were almost at the attic window when they heard a voice call out. Come in here and play with me. All the window, at the window, Marley and Joan tried to open it, but it was too heavy. 
Try harder, Nelly snickered. I want to play. Marley and Joan tried harder and got the window open, but as they did, Nelly pulled a cord, crashing it down, trapping them both. The angels looked at each other, then looked back to see Nelly laughing at both of them. I guess we are in a pickle now, Marley said. Marley and Joan tried to open the window, but they couldn't. They were getting cold and scared. Inside, Nelly laughed at them. Marley sound your horn, Joan said, but Marley didn't want to. It, was, it would make too much noise. Marley, Joan insisted, sound the horn. So Marley sounded the horn to let other ornaments know they were in trouble. Oliver and Edsel hopped off the tree and went outside and saw that Marley and Joan were stuck, cold and shivering. Oliver, I'm not going to be able to help. Nelly glued my ladder down. I'm useless, Edsel said. Edsel, you're strong enough to break the glue. Encourage Oliver. What that encouragement, Edsel broke the glue and extended the ladder. Oliver ran up the ladder and pushed the window as hard as he could. It finally opened, freeing Marley and Joan. The angels flew back in the house. As they did, Joan looked back and said, keep up the good work. All the ornaments cheered Oliver and Edsel. Marley and Joan were revealed, but still shivering. We have got to get through Nelly, Joan said. I think she said. Marley agree, and they convinced all the others to find a way to cheer her up. Back in the attic, Nelly didn't understand why Marley and Joan had tried to be kind to her. It must be a trick, she thought. The children came back inside and raced to the tree. Building the snowman was fun, Holly said. Next time, we will bring you with us. We are fine, we are where we are, Marley and Joan said. We will just stay put. Tell us the rest of the story, how you met Belle, Henry said. It was fun at first, playing and singing with all my friends, Oliver said. I never knew make-believe could be so magical, but after a while, it started getting harder and harder. What happened? Henry asked. One, one by one, friends stopped talking and playing with me. I spoke to them, but none answered. I felt all alone, and it was Christmas Eve. Oliver choked up, so Belle finished the story. Everyone was singing carols and having fun, but sadly, Oliver felt all alone. That's so sad, Oliver, Holly said. Well, thanks to Santa, it turned out perfect, Oliver answered. What happened with Santa? Henry asked. In the stockings. Santa saw me and could tell me I was sad. After I told him what I was wrong, he said, Oliver, as long as you believe in the magic of kindness, and of Christmas, you will never be alone. Just keep believing. I promise, Santa, I would. On Christmas morning, your dad came over to exchange your gifts with your mom. He gave her a sweater and the gave him a watch. Then he gave her a small box. What was it, Holly asked. A beautiful bell ornament. Your dad brought it for your mom because she lived on Bell Street, Oliver said. Both Henry and Holly laughed. That's what Daddy told us earlier, Holly said. After your mom and dad left, I remember Santa's words, said Oliver. So I decided to speak to the new ornament. Hello, my name is Oliver, I said. Belle's eyes opened and the, she replied. It's very nice to meet you, Oliver. My name is Belle. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, I finally had a real friend. 
That was our first Christmas, Belle said, and that made it special. But each Christmas becomes more special because we have even more wonderful memories. Later that night, when the family fell asleep, the magic of Christmas lit the tree and all the ornaments sang together. Their hearts were filled with joy, remembering the story of Oliver's first Christmas with Belle and thinking about their plans to become friends with Nelly. With those happy thoughts, everyone in Nelson's household went to sleep. Merry Christmas and happy and healthy new year. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for that beautiful reading of my story, Oliver the Ornament Meets Belle, Mrs. Trump. And thank you for everything that you do to promote kindness and fight bullying here and around the world. Today we're going to sign a book. We're going to both sign a book, if you would. And we're going to donate this book to the Children Resource Center here at Children's National Hospital. We know you have so many inv invitations, so many things you could be doing, and it's just so meaningful that you would come be with us today and read the story for all the children and uh, see all the kids in the hospital. So thank you so much. I know how much they appreciate your generosity, your warmth, uh, and the feeling. It's just uh, so inspiring. So all of us here at Children's wanted to express our gratitude back to you with some uh, gifts, and these are an expression of our gratitude from the children and the families. much that's very special some presents right for Christmas thank you very much I appreciate that thank you so for more than 70 years Children's National has had the great privilege of hosting the First Ladies of the United States and it's all, always one of the most special days of the year and if you think about it 70 years tradition and Children's National itself is 150 years old. Next year, we're going to have a big birthday party. So uh, uh, look forward to that. Thank you, Mrs. Trump, for continuing the tradition. Now, all of you, please remain seated until Mrs. Trump has the, has the uh, uh, opportunity to depart the room. Please stay in your seats. Thank you. Thank you for having me. A very special place with amazing doctors and nurses. Merry Christmas again. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry
Happy New Year. We wish you Merry Christmas. We wish you Merry Christmas. We wish you Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your king. Good tidings for Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish, we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Tidings we bring to you and your king. Good tidings for Christmas and a happy new year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. I wanna wish you a Merry I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my With boughs of holly, la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly, la 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 la. Gone we now are gay apparel, la 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 la. Troll the ancient yuletide.
We're opening our Advent for calendar for today. Yeah, sure. Thought we might do some reading. Can you help open that one for us, buddy? All right. Grab yours. I might help these other girls. All right. Can you read out the message? Uh, let's see what is inside. Collects in color. Black pink. I like pink too. Beautiful. Look at such a black line. Again, 